Move over stink bugs, another invasive species from Asia has now arrived in the U.S. And because of their hitchhiking abilities, a palm-sized spider could eventually end up in the tri-state. Cassie Arsenal went to the ultimate spider expert to get the scoop. They call him the Spider-Man. It's been my nickname since college. My fraternity brothers called me Spider-Man. George Otz is a walking encyclopedia on anything and everything arachnids. Did you want to come in the house? I have a lot of spider art in my office. Dedicating his life to studying the creepy crawly creatures, publishing more than two dozen papers, and teaching for 43 years at UC. When I got to grad school in entomology, the study of insects, I found that I knew a lot more about spiders than my professors did. And even in his off time, you can still find him searching for spiders in his backyard. In the daytime, they're all warmed up and they're they, they move very fast. So when he told me about a spider the size of my hand potentially making its way to Cincinnati, I listened up. When you see them up close and you study their behavior as I have for as long as I have, they're fascinating. They're called Joro spiders and soon they could be spinning their webs in a town near you. It's just one obvious spider. I mean, if you see one, you know, yeah, it's there. The spider is from Southeast Asia, but made their way to the suburbs of Georgia, most likely by the way of shipping boxes. And our climate in Cincinnati is not unlike where they thrive in Asia. Its natural limits in Asia are the 39th parallel. Here we are. This is the 39th parallel. Why should people all the way in Cincinnati, Ohio, care about this spider? They become part of, of natural ecosystems where they don't belong and sometimes they can crowd other things out. There's been reports that a Juro spider can spin a web as big as 10 feet wide. Especially with the Juro spider, it's built a little higher up. You might walk and get it right in your face. The giant spider is harmless to humans, but it's uncertain how and what they could disrupt here in Cincinnati, especially when they're laying hundreds of eggs at any given time. But if there's anything we can find comfort in with a seven inch spider headed our way, is that this spider enthusiast will be monitoring its every move. I, I suspect within the next decade, they'll be all over the Southeast and maybe here too. Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. <laughs> That's gonna creep me out for sure. The spider, the Joro spider, has a unique ability called ballooning where small spiders spin a long strand of silk that can be carried by air currents. So, Basically, they're able to move great distances and expand their range. Not very comforting to think about.